Yo, what's good, guys? <laughs> Caught you by surprise, huh? <laughs> yeah, this was a bit of an unannounced um, live itself, but I had to come on because, you know, it's just... The way the crypto market is operating right now, I mean, Ada, I just can't believe at her performance and what she's doing. She's taking out all the levels that we anticipated her to take from last night, you know? But um, let me just address who's in the room right here now. What's going on? Tuning in whilst at work, what's good? Bass, Nicolash, how you doing? Carton, what's good? Football skills point, what's happening? Yeah, we weren't meant to be streaming today, but we do stream. This is what we do. We are, you know, cryptocurrency doesn't stop, you know? We always have to be monitoring what she's doing. And yes, granted, I do need a bit of a break, and I use Saturdays as that break, but, you know, you guys need to be in the know with what's going on. There's a lot of hype behind Cardano right now, but I want to let my peoples know what's going on so that you don't feel obliged to place any trades, you know? And it's hard. <laughs> It is hard. It's one of those things where you've just got to be prepared to, you know, make the sacrifice. You know, I don't want you guys to just risk good earned, you know, money that is earned well, you know? Chuck G, what's happening? You stepping in, bro? What is good? What is good? What is good? Yeah, man, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. All right, and so just wait for a few people to come in the room. I mean, I'm not really anticipating many people to come into the room, but you know, if they do, then that's it. You know, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, good. If Mohammed is in here, um, I'm gonna be sorting out that playlist for you. So get in the after this is done, guys. We're gonna get into the Discord. I've got a few things to update in there for you. All right, and also today I've got the interview with Ryan Matter, so we're going to be talking about that. That's going to be good fun. But yeah, man, I just need to come on here just so we could talk about things. Yeah, XLM, I know it's, she's doing some movements, man. I'm happy about XLM, you know. That's why I wanted to come and cover on here, guys. Just wanted to make sure that you guys were in the room, you know, and that you guys were aware of what is going on. You know, shout out from Nicosia. What's going on? The motherland. Yes, I would true. I would appreciate you all getting the likes on the stream, you know. No justice, no peace, bro. That is nuts. Um, yeah, let me just open another tab here just to get this thing going. Right, so what we got here. I'm going to just look at XLM for a short moment as well, man, because XLM caught me by surprise. You know, sometimes I just... Oh, look at the perfect move of XLM. Guys, look what's going on here. Man... It's th these patterns, they just play out so well in crypto. Look, up, down, out of the zone. Small W formation right here. Nah, man. Nah, look at that. Very small W pullback, but then the first pullback comes. Look, guys, this is a textbook. Textbook entry. Okay? They always form at the 50-day moving average, these movements. We had a little bit of a W formation right there. And uh, excuse me, across the whole board, a lot of coins, altcoins, have been behaving like this. You know, a lot of them have been behaving like this, man. Let me just bring that there, put that up there. I'm gonna get Ada up there as well, so she can do her business. All right, and so yeah, let's just take a look at that. I mean, that is nuts, man. That is crazy where Stella is right now from that move. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. That right there, guys, is the perfect formation right there. Okay? That is the perfect break for the formation. This is the problem with the weekend, guys. They do <clears throat> they do their very best to make you want to trade. You know? They do their very best. Now, an entry for these for this this sort of setup right now, guys, would have been here. But you see what we did last night, we drew the pattern. We looked closer, we drew the pattern exactly as projected. What did she do? She broke out, okay? And she was stalling a little bit. And then, pin the low, pin the low, pin the low. What is the significance of the number three? We keep doing this, guys. It keeps happening over and over again, you know? 
Just keep watching what they do. Their move is so obvious. All right? Let's go through that again. Forming the peak formation. I'm just going to extend the chart a little bit. <clears throat> Got a bit of a cough as well, man. My throat is completely dried out. Get some drink in this, man. All right, and so... This right here, guys, is probably the most textbook setup ever i really really want you guys to draw or do a screenshot of what is happening right here i need you to do it all right i'm just going to do small w right there retrace continuation breakout okay can you please screenshot that wait screenshot this all right and use it for your records i'll look at other coins in a sec guys you know just pay attention to what these things are, right? Print this off. It's a textbook pattern, all right? We've been patient enough to sit through it. Everyone's talking about sell-offs, you know, going down to the downside, everything's dropping, you know, is the bear market kicking in? What bear market, man? And you know what? Even if they do drop, there's still a long way for us to go before we do consider a bear drop. You know, I would have to see a drop retrace continuation on like the four hour or the daily for that to even be considered you know yeah i know man i'm i'm doing i'm gonna put all the songs in the stream in the in the discord you know yeah what's good yeah So, I mean, we'll look at Bitcoin, we'll look at Ethereum in a sec, but I just want to, I just want to just talk about Stella's move right here, man. It's just beautiful. All right. It is amazing at what she's done. There's so much content behind this move right here. So we've got the market makers pushing price down. Yeah. Three pushes to the low. What do we know about that? Yeah. Three pushes to the low. Then we have. The formation here, another small formation which converts a pattern. See you later, sack trades. All right. And thank you very much. And then you've got the first shift out of the zone. One. Pulls up. Two. Traps the traders that were stuck in this zone here. Then it consolidates slightly. All right. And then out of nowhere. One, two, three pushes to the low. Spikes the low. Induces traders to go short thinking that it's topped out in this range. And then she just shifts out of the zone, test the 200 day moving average, retrace, continuation to the upside. All right. Hits the M5. The patterns are complete. The pivot points are all complete. We do actually have a high of ADR up here. All right. We'll see if Stella decides to do that. All right. Now let's go back to our fair lady Ada. What's she saying? Ah, oh, Ada, man, you've done us so well. Again, another pattern formation. Look at that. The thing about Ada is this. The bigger W, there was no need for it. She actually respected the first W in the first place. That is huge. All right. So let's look at the levels. Ada, peak formation, rise, slight consolidation, pulls out of the zone, first level. Why? Because the consolidation came back to a moving average. Okay. Then she's working level two. Up comes level two. All right. Now, in order for us to see another move, Ada has another move to the upside. As much as people might think she doesn't, Ada does have another move to the upside in line with the cycle. All right, from the peak formation, she moves up, retrace, move up, level two rise, perfectly, you know, perfect level two rise right there. Brilliant. And while she's rising, she's forming a formation in the meantime. Look, you see that formation right there. Perfect. Let me get even the 15 minute time frame up. Let's see what she's doing on there. I mean, look at that. You can see a very small W right there. Look at that. Peak formation right there. Comes out of the zone, shifts out of it. What else have you got? You've got rise, retrace, continuation to the upside. There's the pattern. Entry, confirmation, done. You know? It's wild, isn't it? Yeah, let's have a look at Bitcoin. See what Bitcoin's doing. Where are we at? Bitcoin. Oh my God, look at that. Bitcoin is just going to go crazy. Look at the confirmation of market maker behavior stepping in in this zone right here. 
Let's just extend our W formation right here. It's coming out there. Let's put this over here. All right. Take the center point right there. And then I'm going to move this up here just to make it at least decent to look at. All right. There we go. Perfect. Now let's look at the formation of the candles itself. All right. You have got right here, pin to the high, all right? Stop hunt rise, continuation to the to the low. Forms a support bubble um, network right here. Sits at the pivot point. Then, stopping volume, pay attention. What have you got right here? You've got stopping volume coming in. Pin to the high, pull back. Make the guys believe that it's going short. Pin to the high, pull back. Pin to the high, pull back. What are they doing? They're, wor they're working the orders to make guys believe that there's resistance at the 50 day moving average. All right. And then what do they do? Make them believe that the shorts are stepping into play, which is what they've done up here. And then now they're just closing them out using their stops, you know, pushing the price all the way up. Pins a 200 day, pulls back. There's so much strength in Bitcoin right now. It's despicable. It is actually despicable. We are at the pivot point. So now it could be free for all for Bitcoin. All right. But we're still waiting. We are still waiting for a confirmation with Bitcoin. No financial advice. But what I'm saying to you guys is we are effectively in from the peak of the bottom here. Rise, retrace, continuation to the upside. All right. Before any entries should be even considered, price would need to come away from this zone up here. All right. Yesterday's high is a potential target point. But I, I am projecting that Bitcoin is going to be taking out the 800 EMA on the 15 minute time frame, which is the 200 day EMA on the one hour time frame. All right. 200 day, one hour time frame. That's where Bitcoin needs to be for me to really be comfortable and say, right, OK, yeah, she looks like she's going to be going back up because once she hits the 200 day, she will then form another peak, drop, rise, retrace, continuation to the upside. And then she's going to be taking out other levels. I mean, look. We have got M4 in sight, confirmation of level two, M2 right here, M4 is in play. That's where my target projection is. That's where I want it to go. Let's look at Ethereum. Oh, Ethereum, what are you doing, my lady? What are you doing? Let's pull back. Where's she at? The bigger piece of the puzzle. I, will, I just literally had XLM up. I will get to the XLM in just three seconds. Give me a second, all right? So we've got the bigger W pattern. I just need to move it to the side. All right. Just so it sits nicely. All right. Move this over here. Move that right there. And then this over here. Guys, I'm doing this not to encourage you to trade. I'm doing this so that you guys can be aware of and understand when price is moving. You know, Ethereum right here. It looks like Ada is just completely just doing her own thing. We've got a W formation within a W formation. All right. Breaking up, pull back, continuation to the upside. Pins the low. People call this um, rejection in indecision. There is no indecision. The market makers know exactly what they're wanting to do. Goes back down, pins the lows, pulls price back up. Where are we going to go with Ethereum? We're all at pivot points, guys. All the, all the main coins are at pivot points right now. So it can only favor the upside because I'm not seeing any resistance in to the upside. I'm seeing all but nothing but market maker behavior at the lows. All right. They are trapping loads of people in this area and they're going to get ready to shift out of the zone. Projection for Ethereum. I'm aiming for at least from the pivot point confirmation of the M2. I'm looking for the 200 day moving average on Ethereum on the one hour time frame. So we could say 1638. That's where I would ideally want Ethereum to be. But before she goes there, she has to do this. She has to break out of the M3, retrace. While she's breaking out the M3, she's breaking out of a 50 day moving average. Continuation to the upside. Once she does that, she'll then form another retrace, continuation to the upside before she hits the M, um, the, the 200 day. All the while, whilst that is happening, the 50 day moving average is gonna be turning upwards like that. And then the 200 day to a moving average is going to be coming down. So once those two cross together, boy, we've got ourselves a very interesting move to the upside. And we ain't going to miss it because we're going to be on top of this. Ethereum moving out of the park right now. All right. Let's get Ada. What's she doing? Doing exactly the numbers we need her to do. 15 minute time frame. What pattern is she doing? We've got another rise. Retrace. 
continuation to the upside. However, she has formed what would be a M pattern. We're only going to know if this M pattern is valid if she breaks down from this point here. So she could do another rise, continuation to the downside, maybe test a 200 day moving average. But it's unlikely with the strength that she's been exerting to us, man. It's crazy at how strong she is, you know? Anyone that's new to the channel, you know, thank you so much for passing. You know, if you subscribe, happy days. We normally do a live stream every single day and night. We stream in the mornings where we have some great music playing that's on repeat and it's the same music on repeat. My, you know, forgive me guys, right? But in the evening, we do live discussions on where Ethereum's going, Bitcoin. We look at the altcoin market. You know, I'm always keeping you guys in line, giving you the projections because I ain't going to give you false predictions as such i'm not going to say yeah ada's going to go to 17 pounds you know I'm, I'm gonna tell you where she's going to go from one point to the next in last night's stream made the projection that ada would hit 150 160 that's what i want her to be to satisfy my understanding of the patterns okay and she did just that all right look at how close she missed it man 149 she missed it ever so cl so close but guys 149 i'm, I'm happy with that you know i am completely happy with that so you know it's this is what this is about guys you know we're just drawing patterns and just cleaning the park the, the park up man you know we're just on top look at this massive reject not rejection not rejection okay market makers have stepped in all right and they have let me just delete that market makers have stepped in and taken out all the orders from the guys who brought at the all-time high when ada was pumping all right. Do you know how many people got squashed out of Ada this morning because of this move? They set their stops. They probably purchased up here. All right. And then they just got squashed by price coming down. It breaks down the 5 and the 13 EMA. But until the 5 and the 13 EMA cross, all right, there is no reason why anyone who holds Ada, I hold Ada, so I'm all good. I don't need to worry about my position. But if anyone is in Ada at the all time high, you may not have anything to worry about just yet, but if the 5 and the 13 cross, you're going to have to reevaluate the situation. You're going to have to reconsider your options because she could come down, test the 50 day moving average because she hasn't seen it for a little while and she's been holding in this zone while Ethereum herself has been building a massive range. Ada has just outperformed everyone. Is it because of the news that's coming out on Monday? Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? But what we're going to see before Monday is Ada's going to come and look to retrace or she could just hold this zone perfectly and the 50 day moving average will recover up here all right and start to flatten out and then the 200 day will do exactly the same come monday she'll do a drop stop point rock drop rise out that's what she'll do you know my projection from monday who knows she could easily hit two pound two dollars two dollars but that is me overestimating something there i would need to see a rise drop continuation to the upside maybe twice before she hits two dollars that's me just being conservative right there you know m pattern m pattern how many people are new in this live how many people have never seen this channel before and have only just passed through what's up um, brandon how you doing I'd like to know who's there Yeah, I'll have a look at um, Nervous Man. Guys, this move to the upside from Ethereum, okay? What you got to understand about these, this strategy here, guys, all right? You come from Ryan's channel, wicked, man. Wicked. Nice one, Jody. What you got to understand about these, the, the pattern that's happening right now with Ethereum, all right? It's designed to effectively retest certain areas. Okay. Now there are guys that are looking at the higher time frames that are, you know, assuming that there is bearish behavior. Is it going to break down further? Maybe. You know, Ethereum may even drop down even more. Maybe Bitcoin the same. But what we do as traders, our job is to take what is given right now and trade in line with it. If Ethereum right now rises and continues to the upside, takes out the M4, M5, happy days, we reevaluate the next situation. 
If we get to the 200 day moving average and she forms a very strong M pattern and pulls away completely from that zone, we're then looking for shorts, you know? As a trader, you have no conception of value. You just trade whatever direction it's moving. You take your money from it as and when you see or realize profit, okay? You can't just be married to one direction. You stick with the direction that it's showing you at that point in time, okay? So Ada's sitting there. Now, let's have a look at XLM. Someone called XLM, yeah, let me just pull XLM up right here. There she is, XLM. She just looks like she's just gonna hold the zone clean. You know, that's exactly what she's gonna do. Holding the zone right there. I mean, look at that beautiful W right there. She's just played that one out really nice. Up it goes there, you know? Crazy, man. Guys, whoever's just come from um, Ryan's live and his channel, I really appreciate what, you know, you coming over. Me and Ryan are gonna, we're just gonna try and collaborate with each other, help both our platforms and help you guys understand what's going on because there's no BS in these channels, man. You know, we're not gonna hype you up. We're gonna prepare you for moves that happen in the short term. You know, this is all, this is more of day trading strategy. And you know, it's not, I mean, for investors, yeah, you know, you can come in here and if you're an investor of ADA or XLM or Ethereum and Bitcoin, you can come in here and just be like, you know, monitor where you are in your with your investment as such. You can look at the technical breakdown of everything. But the way I break down price in the market is, you know, before I use any indicators, I'm understanding the psychology of what it's doing at certain areas, you know. That's where it is for me. Why? Because the price is so heavily influenced by market makers making traders believe one thing, but something else is really happening behind the scenes. And the more you come to the live streams, the more you will realize this pattern playing out over and over again, where you'll look at price and you say, you know what, I'm not going to buy at the all time high. I'm going to do what the market maker does. He buys when it's at the lows and he sells when it's at the highs, you know? Yeah, well, guys, I'm not telling you to trade anything. I'm no, don't trade the weekends, guys. I'm giving you the, I'm giving you an update on what Ethereum and Ada are doing. I'm just telling you what they're doing. I'm a holder of both Ada and Ethereum. I'm updating myself on what she's doing. You know, I'll never give anyone financial advice, but the only thing I will say is be very careful if you trade weekends because there are people that will do it and then there will people that will not do it. And I'm just trying to tap to the minds of the people that you know, if you trade the weekends, you have to be prepared for low liquidity, wild price swings, all right? Market makers are not stepping in the zone yet. We've got Sunday. You want to have as much cash as you can, all right, for when the market opens Sunday, Monday. But we still don't even tra place any trades then. We wait for the fake moves to come out. That's what we do. We wait for the fake moves to play their hand because all the weekend, all the retail traders, right, are just putting their money into 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 crypto they're just pumping their monies into crypto right now and then monday comes it's going to take away that lovely carrot they've been giving them they're going to drop price and then before you know it come start of the week bang ethereum moves ada moves bitcoin moves you know it will take people by storm you know yep i'm not giving advice guys there's no advice on here Mac Miller, I rarely watch you, but you're very honest. Be careful, a lot hate you. <laughs> they probably do. You know, they probably do. Yeah, Tommy and his mates. Yeah, Tommy and his mates. I don't know why anyone would hate me, man. You know, for all it's worth, I'm just trying to hook people up with the pattern. You know? No, you know, if, if, you're, if you know guys that are selling a course and they ain't talking about this kind of content or concept, you know, understanding why does price move from one zone to the next when you look at it from a psychological point of view. When I say psychological, guys, I ain't talking about no PhD movement, you know, or anything professional in the aspect of I'm a psychiatrist, I understand. You know, I've been staring at these screens for the past 10 years and I'm talking serious screen time. You know, the 10,000 rule was probably done in my first year. 10,000 hour rule was done in my first year. I'm, I'm on, I'm on 30, 40,000 hours, man. It's crazy about the amount of time that I've sat in front of these screens. I've had screens everywhere, you know, had tablets in my car, had, you know, iPads fixated to walls, laptops all over the place, TVs next to TVs, always monitoring price. I used to think it was a baby. I'd nurture it as a child. You know, I'd just watch it all the time, you know? 
it's the hedge funds you don't it's the hedge funds you don't think deep value doesn't have a price on his head um to be honest with you the market is too deep i mean if this account hypothetically if i have for example 500,000 people subscribe to my channel and they are watching this sort of trading behavior right it's not going to matter to the main guys why because we're dealing with a 6.5 trillion dollar market that's forex and now you've got crypto coming out of that zone as well you know it's hitting the trillion now you know depending on what currency you look at it from so you know it's not going to mean anything and not everyone is going to have the same concept of value not everyone's going to have the same amount of risk not everyone's going to understand the pattern straight away not everyone's going to trade it on the same time frame you know if anything market makers would encourage me to come up with this because it wants more liquidity it needs more liquidity the more the more players there are in the game the better it is for them but my goal is to keep you guys sharp you know i want you guys to keep sharp with this game Convert my Bitcoin card down, and now I can buy back more Bitcoin. Yes, Mac, Mac, yo, Mac, listen, now you're going to, you're now going into a deeper conversation. Yes, it is about control. I agree. It is completely about control. But when we start, I mean, if a YouTube account start moving the market that's when they start getting concerned you know but come on guys you know not everyone's going to trade at the same time not everyone may understand the concept at the same time i mean what i can say is the discord group have declared at least nearly three hundred thousand dollars worth of returns and that's just me going off all the amount of times people have posted profit and losses from the start of this street uh, this stream nearly five six weeks ago four five weeks ago you know, which brings me to the next thing that I need to discuss. Um, where are we at? Let me get this sorted out. I have got here, I need to create a invite because where we are, copy. All right, guys, listen, this is the Discord. Please join the Discord. That's the Discord link. If you don't believe me about people making those returns, go to the Discord link, all right, and go into the Crypto Profits and just what, have a look at all the conversations. I'm talking about the conversations as well that people have given me in private, in private as well. You know, they're saying, yo, man, I've cleaned 18, 19 grand in a week. What is that? You know? It's liquidity at the end of the day. That's what they want. Let's organize a collective buy. <laughs> you know, I mean, guys like, you know, um, BitBoy, you know, when he streams and he's got a load of guys on there and he recommends a coin, man, they all rushing to get that coin. Well, look, it's it's market makers being happy. They want the liquidity to come in because at any moment, the market maker will crash price. They will come out of that zone. And not everyone holds the same idea of value. You know, I might enter at an all-time high, for example, which I would never do. I'll enter at an all-time high because I've been hyped up. And then I might have a cash flow which will allow me to sit through a 60% correction in the market and it won't even touch my balance. You know, so not everyone has the same value. This is why I don't think ever it would ever be a problem if there were 500,000 subscribers to this account and they all understood this methodology, the market maker would encourage it. He would want more liquidity because he knows he can print M's and W's all over the place and not everyone will trade the same M and not everyone will trade the same W because not everyone will stick to the same time frame. You know, it's, they engineer it to encourage people to learn this but they know that not everyone's going to be applying it on the same time frame. You know, it's crazy. I mean, look, let, let, look at, let's look at Stella right here. Look, all right. Just look at this. You've got this big pattern right here. Yeah. You've got the main pattern right here. W formation. Now, not everyone's going to see this pattern. All right. 
because you're going to have some guys that might trade this pattern here, this little W right here, and it will fail. So it's sucked in the longs in that instance. But then you've got this W formation down here. Right? So drop, drop, rise, retrace, continuation, pull back, spike to the high. Rise, retrace, continuation to the upside. This is what they love. When they move the money, they have no choice but to move the money. They can't hide from it. Why? Because what they've been doing is they've been building the positions in this whole area here. They can't hide away from this area here, guys. When they need to realize a profit, they've got to get the out of them. And I can't, I can't say, I'm sorry if I'm, you know, being profanic and what have you, but it just gets to me, man. You know, it's there, black and white. It's a pattern, it's a pattern, it's a pattern. Stick to the pattern. Now that pattern, this bigger pattern's on the one hour. If you drop down to the 15 minute time frame, you'll see it clearly. You know, look at the W's there. Look at W's down here. Look at the W right there. Even worse, look at this. Look at the line per chart. Look at how many M's and W's appear, but not everyone's going to trade them. You know, look at the M pattern there. One, two, drop. There's a W right there. Ray, trade that. Oh, another W, another M, another W, another M. So people are like, whoa, hold on a second, Tino. You're talking about these M's. You're talking about these W's, right? Uh, so which one do I trade? That's the key. That is the key. The key is to understand which one to trade in context. Right, let me just have a look at these coins that you guys are throwing at me. Here we go. Chainlink, what's she doing? Oh my goodness. What have we got here? Chainlink. And yeah, someone just mentioned earlier on about Litecoin. Litecoin is my favorite coin right now. Why? Because she, she moves before Ethereum. She's not the lazy coin. She is not the lazy coin. She's the coin that makes it, things happen. She embarrasses Ethereum, honestly. From a technical standpoint, she embarrasses Ethereum, you know? What's this? Matt, how you doing, brother? Will you look at Dot on the 15 minute last night? We did the W, went up, came back, retested, then just fell off. I've been noticing that with a lot of coins. Is that a trap or am I just looking at it wrong? Thank you. No worries, Matt. I'll have a look at that for you, my friend. Okay? All right, so um, Link, look what she's doing. She's just forming a W, you know? She's forming a nice W right here. Yep. Notice, guys, when if you come to the streams and watch the streams and look back, okay, you will notice that all the W's and the M's all appear, right, at moving averages. Because when they form the pattern, they deviate away from it. They move away from the pattern. All right. They sometimes form it before they come back into the pattern. So there's two instances. They either form it before it hits it. So look at this. They form a pattern here. W formation. It's away from the 50 day. What happens? It goes back into the 50 day. Retrace continuation to the upside. Very small W pattern right there. Up she goes. Okay. Chain link as well. W formation. Rise. Retrace continuation to the upside. What is, what is chain link showing me guys? What is she showing me? To all my regulars that come into the live. What's this? Stopping volume. You know? 200 day moving average is flat. 50 day moving average is flat on the 15 minute time frame. We bring it down to the one hour. What have we got? Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that behavior. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Link, of course, they're all doing the same pattern, guys. Remember, they're all gonna follow Link. They're all gonna follow Ethereum, all right? They will all follow Ethereum. She's coming out of the zone. Small W formation, okay? Now, let me just go to Dot. Dot, because my guy wants to ask this question. Let's have a look at Dot. Okay. Oh, wow, that played out well from last night. Happy days. That played out perfectly. Guys, last night's stream, we said that this is a shift candle. She's going to make moves to the higher, make higher ground. She's done just that. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So the question was, on the 15-minute time frame, it did the W, went up and came back down, right? One thing you need to consider, Matt, is this. Where did it do the W? Which W are you talking? Yeah, Dot is on fire. Monero is consistent. Yeah, Monero. Monero and... Um, oh, Monero and Dot are playing really well. No worries, um, Shan. Right, um, 
Yeah, I thought I wasn't streaming today, my friend. I thought I wasn't streaming. Thank you very much, Joe Kim. Joe, Joe Kim. Joe Kim. Joe Kim. You know? Okay, so where's where's Matt? Matt, are you here, bro? Matt, I need to know where you at, bro. So I can understand what's going on. I need to know which W you're looking at. Hey, Joe, how you doing? Welcome to the channel, my friend. Was it the W starting at approximately 6 o'clock? I was following the music show. Keep the stream streaming, man. Yeah, man, nice one, bro. It was right when you went off air last night. I, I seem to be doing this. Every time I come offline or I come off the stream, right? Price does exactly what it needs to do, all right? So depending on which W you traded, yes. <coughs> Excuse me, you do see M, you do see W. But what you got to understand is this, the M worked out, why? It worked out on the smaller time frame. It's a smaller M. This is what you've got to understand, guys. The smaller M's, they do play out and they work. And so do the smaller W's. You've got to trade in line with the time that they take to form. So look, you've got an M formation here. Drop, retrace, drop, retrace, peak formation, rise. You're looking for three levels from the M, okay? The smaller the M, the smaller the retraces, okay? Remember that. All right. Smaller W. And then, yeah, so look, you've got another W down here. You're, well, you looks like an inverted head and shoulders right here, which is a variation of a W pattern. All right. But always take a step back. Stand up at your desk and move back and see if you can see it. If you can't see it, pull up the line chart. OK. And we'll ask yourself where we at with the M and the W formation. You know where we at. I want 10x this super chat last night using your method small short because it's the trades win some dollars here and there so wicked man wicked bro that's wicked man nice one brother okay then so yeah i mean what you've got to understand guys is this there is always always going to be a variation on the theme you know nice one t bay nice one brother Guys, what is a coin shill? I don't even know, man. Is that is that really bad that I don't know? <laughs> I'm not down with the lingo, you know. I'm 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 fucking old school, man. You know. I do say it as it is, but you know, I ain't down with the lingo. And if if that's a good thing, I don't know. But you let me know if I am coin shilling as such. I, I don't know what it is, man. Stephanie, what's good? Oh, is that the definition of it, BitBoy? Can someone give me a definition of what coin shill is? I, I don't know what it is. Someone who hypes up, hypes to promote a coin. Ah, people that promote and pump and dump coin shill. You know what, guys? How about we just do our own thing here, yeah? Let's all agree a coin. Let's all stack up on it. And then let's go invade. Yeah, let's go and invade a, a channel and induce him to promote a coin all right to his base and we'll be there at the ready to, to clean up the market man that's when we are coin chillers let's do that guys <laughs> nah man i you know look bitcoin listen he ain't here to defend himself as such right so i ain't gonna talk bad about the brother you know He's obviously got his base. He does what he does for his base. If he's known to be a coin shield, then he's going to keep being that guy because there are some people that like it. Some people like the excitement, you know? But I ain't coming to you guys doing this stream to get you excited. You know, this is a, this is a business, guys. This is a business that we are operating in. We are in the game of trading. And the sooner you come to accept and take it seriously, only then will you bear the fruits that it has. You know, you want to become a trader. You have to be serious about this game of trading. There's no sugar coating, man. There's no BS. It's a rough game. It is the hardest, easiest way to make money. You know, 
people take it for granted people don't take it seriously you see you've got money on the table if you were in a pro profitable position in trading all right and you come to a stream and you say i hold x amount of ethereum or x amount of ada and i've realized 225 percent what should i do why are you coming in here asking what you should do about your 225 percent gain close the trade man the business is the business of trading is designed to keep your money on the line all right how is it that you can have a 200 percent gain in in a position and then you close it at break even oh man that's bad news for you man bad news you can't sit what does that do to your soul to know you've got a 200 percent increase and then you break even man you know that's that I would not say to you to quit trading because you made a bad move there. I would say purely out of embarrassment. Do not ever, ever put yourself in that position where you realize a 200% return and you don't do nothing about it. You know? It's it's literally that. I mean, Chuck G's just hit the nail on the head in trading. The more time you put into it, the more money you make. Okay? And that is true. But exactly. You have to understand what is going on in the game yeah and that's true i'm not talking about being a millionaire in two days that is true that is what i'm not doing you know i had the analogy and i started this stream back in the day with this analogy because people are trying to understand why am i doing it okay the reason why i'm doing this guys is because in order for me to become a master at this game i have to be able to teach it and if those who I teach go forth and earn from what I am teaching them, that solidifies the knowledge that I've accumulated over the years. That has solidifies my mastery in this game. And I'm continuously learning. Okay? I'm not learning just a simple thing. It's a collection of experiences. And I'm putting it all out to you guys because I want to I wanna grow even more at this game. You know? Now, if I can teach anyone what i'm what i know myself and they go on and do massive things with their life i've done it you know i've completely won at the game i own the market maker because i've applied that and given it to someone else and the analogy that i started off this stream with was if i'm a fisherman and you come with me on my fishing trip i can fish and i give you a fish you eat for the day you know but then if I can teach you how to fish, I don't need you with me because you naturally wouldn't want to be with me. You want to be in your own boat fishing for yourself and then you're eating for the lifetime. That's what it is, you know? Literally just burned a hole through my eyes watching your four hour stream. <laughs> okay, then cool. Let's have a look at some other coins as well. Let's keep things busy. What have we got here? GRT. I see GRT up there. What's going on with GRT? Okay. Look, guys, listen. The majority of the coins are going to be performing and printing the same pattern. Look. What have we got here? Consolidation to the right. We don't know what's going to happen. We can only go by what she's doing right now. What they're doing right now. Until GRT drops down here. All right. Then we will know where we are. Let's look at Ethereum for a second. Ethereum, till she drops down here. I mean, she's holding this zone, but she is below the 50 day moving average. She is below the 200 day moving average. Until she breaks above the 50 day, there is no conviction to buy Ethereum. No one should be buying into it. You know, you have to wait for the pattern, wait for it to complete. Bitcoin, where are we at? Bitcoin, exactly the same story. Nice controlled move holding the zone. We will know what she does in, in the meantime. All right, we will know when they break above the key moving averages litecoin where's she at there you go exactly the same performing moving to the side ada prediction in 2021 guys you want to be really focusing on people that are projecting not project predicting man and the reason why i say that is well you can have guys who predict there's nothing wrong with a prediction as long as there's context behind it man as long as there's a justification if you come to this channel and i say ada's gonna hit three pounds in the next four months you're going to go and load up on ADA because I've got the, you know, I'm taking the risk of coming onto YouTube and declaring that I think ADA is going to be hitting three pounds, <clears throat> three, four pounds. Hell no, man. The nearest target, the mo maximum that I'm expecting ADA to hit in the near term is at least the 175, 185, maybe 
hit two. Maybe, but that is that is a long time yet. Look at what she has to do. If anybody knows about the cycle that we follow, okay, is this. This is the pattern that we need to follow. Right? W formation. Rise, pull back. Retrace, continuation to the upside. Retrace, continuation to the upside. M formation. Drop, retrace. Drop, retrace. W formation again. This is the business model, guys. Why? Market makers build shorts. They make traders believe that price is dropping and they want to induce them to open short. Okay? When they open short, the market makers get their longs filled at lower prices. That's the key. They get their longs filled at lower prices. It drops. Then what happens is the market maker retraces back up. What he does is he starts offloading those longs and he uses the liquidity from the guys who went short. He uses their stop losses to fill his longs. He then repeats the process again, induces the traders to believe that we've come at a moving average and there's rejection. And usually there's a 50 day moving average in this direction here. All right. The market makers then pin off that area, pin to the high, pin to the high, open the orders, and then they pull it back again. The guys who got stopped out in this move here are saying to themselves, you know what? She's going to go back down and retest the low of the day. No worries. I'm going to get back in again. And what the market maker does is he brings price down ever so close to the first leg. And then out of nowhere, he opens up the zone. He shifts out of it traps all the money that's committed in this area then what he does is he rises okay forms a high and retraces okay he needs to recover a little bit that's the first level and that's usually achieved on the first day of the week bang then he does it again level two level two day two then he makes a high forms an m pattern and we call this the midweek reversal usually on a wednesday we're going to see reversals in certain coins currencies and what have you then they start again, rise, retrace, rise, retrace, start the pattern again. So we would need to see this formation happening a few times whilst Ada is making the move to the upside. OK, I ain't going to say to you, Ada's going to do this pink. There you go. No chance. It will never happen. We've got to be realistic with our approach, guys. No bullshit. And there's a lot of it going around right now. You could see, look, there's a little M pattern right there. Drop, retrace, drop retrace drop peak formation rise and they're going to do all of this at the 50 day moving average some could even say there's a head and shoulders forming okay happy days variation on an m pattern okay but until ada breaks and violates key areas there is no reason why anyone should be getting concerned about ada's performance she's now pulling back a little bit she's just smashed out 150 nearly you know My brother, can you please explain how to look at the MA? How you look at the 50 and the 200. <laughs> Mike Dutch, what's good, man? I need your help, bro. I need your help, man. <clears throat> Got myself a sore throat. Guys, before I continue, can we just get the likes up, please? Can we get the likes to match the video? You know? Then Alex, then why is Bitcoin then why is Bitcoin down so much for so long now? The reason it's down is because from what we can see is the market makers are building longs at lower prices. You know, that's what we're understanding. All right. We are understanding that Bitcoin right now is forming a pattern. OK, and it's building their it's building a position. All right. You know, people are like, you know, they're giving opinions on, you know, Bitcoin's going to drop, Bitcoin's going to drop. Okay, if it does drop, happy days. We'll work out our decision from there. There are no trades open in Bitcoin right now. You know, there are no trades open in Ethereum. We have no reason to be buying Ethereum right now as day traders, guys. Okay, as day traders, you know, coffee made, I'm here all day. Wicked man. Yeah, when I finish the stream, bro, I'll, I'll, I'll reach out to you, man, so we can get something done because... You know, I want to at least make these streams, you know, enjoyable to watch rather than just basic charts in front of you guys, you know, depending on your relative time scale. Yeah, this is it. Okay, band. All right, let's get band up. Get band up. Right now, guys, let me just finalize with um, um, Ada. Right now, we are seeing a pattern rise, retrace, continuation to the upside. 
ideally that's what needs to happen next we are expecting one more move to the upside before she peaks that's what we're saying one more move to the upside remember this stream all right <clears throat> Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Band. I'm impressed. Band. Okay, guys. The alts are moving. Okay, so here's the fractional disparity that I've been trying to establish between the cryptocurrencies. Okay. When Ethereum and Bitcoin hold, or should I say when Ethereum holds, all the altcoins move. And we saw this behavior. We saw it last week. Go through the live streams that I've been doing. We've been talking about this continuously. Now, the beauty of fractional disparity in Forex, okay, you can tell where the money's going when they're moving either the majors or the minors, okay? Now, I'm trying to apply the same concept. Thank you very much, Chris. I'm trying to apply the same concept about um, the idea behind fractional disparity in cryptocurrency. So all I can work with is... When Ethereum moves, the alts hold. When the alts move, Ethereum holds. Yesterday or this week, I've been witnessing Bitcoin forming exactly the same pattern as Ethereum. And all the altcoins have been doing exactly the same thing. Ada to the exception. That only tells me that they're just building positions. They are literally building positions across the board. Are we going to make and do another move to the upside? You know, are we going to do that move, guys? It's, it's wild. We are going through what, in my opinion, is one of the biggest financial evolutions ever known. It's like money has just been invented again. You know, no, we're no longer exchanging or bartering with sheep and cows, you know, and stock. You know, money's got fashionable again. It's always been fashionable, but cryptocurrency has just completely changed it you know yeah if you're new to the stream guys um you can download mt4 there's links in the description there okay and then once you've done that you can go to the discord which is pinned to the stream at the top i've got the link right here to the discord right there in the chat go download the indicators and you know there is a video on there on how to use it and happy days okay then so let me just go over band so look at band guys i mean if we just zoom out on the one hour time frame what can you see what can oh look at that shifting out of the zone w formation within a formation look at this w formation within a formation retrace continuation to the upside shifting out of the zone right there g2 gz7 i'll do that mate okay we've got the bigger formation right here she's holding the ground is this weekend going to be the weekend that they set it up where they move price up? Okay, hit the 200 day moving average on band. Who knows? But all the coins could actually form to the upside and then drop. Who knows? We won't know. We can only go by what they're doing. All right. What's she doing right now? Well, she's rising. She's coming out of the 50 day moving average. I can see a pattern. She's accumulated. Trap the, trap the shorts on the left side. Trap them again in the middle. Moving out of the zone market makers are looking to move price out of the of the of the pattern they want to realize a return happy days if that return gets us to the 200 day and we entered on this break here happy days we realized it what's next wait for the next pattern which is why i explained to you guys it doesn't matter whether you're short whether you're long whether there's a bull market bear market i never like saying those things anyway all right it doesn't matter where the price is in in terms of a trade of a trend you're going to trade what you see what do you see Price is above the 50 day moving average on the hourly. Happy days. I'm only looking for a day trade move. You know, trades are closed at the end of the day. Don't hold any positions overnight. A trader's in and he's out. An investor, different story. You know, investor, a very different story. You know, this is how it works out, man. It's, it's This is a different ball game, guys. You're not going to get... I'm going to talk about things that you don't hear normally on the day to day. You know, I will never tell you to go and buy a book on trading. The only book that I'll tell you to go and buy is Mark Douglas trading in the zone. Why? Because he engineers and helps you, you know, sculpt your mind into thinking in probabilities. You know, why should you be fearful of something that you never know what's going to happen? 
He doesn't, it doesn't exist. You know, when the acronym of fear is false evidence appearing real, you know? If you've got nothing to be scared, we operate in uncertainty. So why are you scared of the uncertainty in the market? Why are we scared? Why are we fearful? What have we got to be scared about? Place the trade. You know there's two things you can do in your trade, all right? You can place the trade, leave it, and monitor the exposure. That's all you can do. Whatever it does afterwards is not down to you. You know how much money you're happy to risk. If it hits your stop, fine, okay? Like in poker, if you've got a pair of aces pre-flop, you know statistically you've got the best hand, all right? You go all in, you're committed. When the flop delivers itself, you can see a straight draw. How many outs do you need for the turn to hit the straight? How many does he need? Has he already hit the straight? Your pair of aces now are kind of looking shit, but you have no control of what happens on the board. Why? Because you never knew what the cards were gonna be. You just statistically assumed that your pair of aces would hold. And usually they do, 80% win rate as such, depending on what cards the player is or whatever cards he's got, 55, sorry, um, 55, 45, you know? It all depends on what you have. And the sooner you come to accept that sort of mentality, the better trading is gonna be for you, you know? Hypothetically, if I were to say, okay, I'm gonna go in band right now at the break of this candle, okay? I've entered band at this candle here. Let me evaluate my risk. Okay, cool. I've entered at this candle. My drawdown has been very minimal. It's rising in my favor. What do I do? Monitor it. If it starts to break down, I'm closing my trade, paying myself, I'm looking for the next move. Okay? Let me get BNB. Someone asked for BNB. No, don't want that one. Here we go. The BNB is a heavyweight, man. It's a heavyweight. It's doing exactly what Ethereum is doing. All the altcoins are moving. So they're taking their, they're holding Ethereum and Bitcoin and all the heavy coins, they're holding them and then they're moving price in the other coins. Hypersonic monkey brains. Don't like staring at charts all day long, stressing and then tax man sticking his nose in and making demands. Yeah, this is the issue that, um, that crypto has is they're now starting to want to tax it, all right? Which is why my basis of what I do is all on Forex. I don't do anything else. I trade Forex. I'm applying the same concepts on Forex into the cryptocurrency world, you know? Forex is the way forward, guys. It's the only thing that I've been doing for the past 10 years. I'm applying the same strategies in Forex into cryptocurrency and it's working out well for a lot of people, you know? Okay, Brandon Christopher, listen, thoughts on FUD. How can, how can institutions come out last week bragging about picking up Bitcoin cheap at 52 and then a market maker would drop lower? I don't see it. Doesn't play into head games. Well, no, it does because the market maker picks it up cheaper. Yeah, he picks it up cheaper. He induces people to buy Bitcoin. Yeah, and the, and the way that he can do it is by keeping price low. He, he gets price, he drops price. You know, he drops it, it drops. And when it drops down, right, he's the guys that are selling off a Bitcoin. OK, he's buying it back at a lower point. OK, guys, our retail traders money isn't going to do anything to the market. When these institutions declare the money that they've committed to buying Bitcoin, no way is it going to be factored in price straight away. You know, no way they can't. You know, if you buy $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin, do you know what it's going to do in the market, in the exchanges? It's going to rattle the place. They do it in, they buy, they declare the purchase and then they filter it out in segments. That's how they do it, to keep the market. You know, that's how they do it. Here we go, what we've got here. New York is, guys in New York are coming into play now. You know, everyone in New York is waking up. Ada is crashing. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Ada is crashing. <laughs> oh, Ada's not crashing, my friend. Ada is not crashing. You'll know a crash when you see one. Okay. Ada's pulling back. She's respecting the pattern. What is she doing? She's doing the pattern from the previous low. Rise. Rise. Retrace. Coming back to the 50 day moving average continuation to the upside that's what Ada's doing she ain't crashing and this is what's really funny about people when they 
when they see price. When you've been in the game long enough, you learn to, you learn to understand and work out what a crash is. You'll know what a crash is. You know? <laughs> it's all good, man. Yo, listen. There are a lot of people coming into crypto. Okay? A lot of new people coming into crypto. And I'm going to try my hardest to make sure that you guys get the best of what you can get. You know? You've got to be careful. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Guys, may I ask that we get the stream to the same amount of viewers and likes? I would really appreciate that. If we could do that, I would be really happy with that. I'm just going to have a little quick drink. Yes, I'll look at Atom for you. I'll also do that. Can we get those likes up, please, guys? I would really appreciate that. Mad respect for all of you for even being in here, man. Oh, man. Honest troll. Fair enough, bro. I'm trolling. <laughs> oh, God. A crash for Ada would have to be like 60 cents. Like, stupid. <laughs> you know? Hey, do you know what was that? What time am I going with Ryan? I believe I'm going on with Ryan about five o'clock UK time, GMT. I think it's a live or it's a video. I don't know how we're going to do it, but I'm going to play it out. I'm going to play it out in that instance. All right, Atom, look what Atom's doing. Coming out of the peak formation. Okay, perfect. Coming out of this current W here, you know, is there a bigger W? Of course there is. And what did I say to you guys before, man? These peak formations, these W's and these M's, they all appear at moving averages. Look at where we are. We're at the 50 day, 200 day, and the 800 EMA. Look what it's done. It's pinned it one, two, three, three times to the low. This is what the market makers know what traders do. They Traders go and buy books, right? I mean, I've got a book right here that even says it. A Beginner's Guide to Day Trading. Back in the day when I got this book, that book's about nine years old now, okay? And it will, it will always say that when you see a trend, okay, price is rising, draw a trend line. If it hits the low once, twice, three times, be ready to open the trade to go to the downside. Well, market makers know that traders trade this. So what the market maker does is he allows the traders to open orders in this area here. He gets the orders filled. He pins the low, allows price to come down a little bit, solidifies the trader's intention that price is going to drop to the downside. Mr. Retail Trader's thinking, yeah, baby, I'm a trader, man. I'm about to get paid. And then before you know it, Market Maker reverses and goes back up. And then the Retail Trader's thinking, hold on a second, but the book said, <laughs> you know, this is what you see every single day. Don't be surprised, guys. Do not be surprised. You know, they don't want you to know that. The only person that's winning is the author that's writing the book and the publisher. You know? Here we go. Can you please talk strategy of paying yourself? I used to move up my stop loss in profit. Now I pay in increments, but I feel I'm too random. Okay, Sig. Sigurdu, this is how you understand how to pay yourself. Yeah, this is how you understand. Let's look at how much money you've made, okay? And then let's look at where you are right now in your career. Do you work nine to five? All right? If you work a nine to five and you've placed a trade and you've earned yourself two grand on this trade, you've made a day trade or you've made a day trade over, yeah, let's say a day trade and you've earned yourself five, six hundred pounds, for example, in two hours. All right. Look at what you earn in your nine to five job on an hourly rate. All right. And then ask yourself, what would I have to do? to earn that 500 pound. What shit do I have to go through? Now, some people do enjoy their job, but what I'm saying, I'm using this as an analogy, guys, to help you understand the, the, the importance of paying yourself in this game. Don't think that there has to be a strategy to pay yourself. The strategy is this, take your fucking money, okay? You never knew it was gonna work out that way. Pay yourself, because the game is designed to keep you in the trade. 
It's designed to keep your liquidity exposed. When you make money on the back of the dealer, he's going to do his hardest to make sure that you give some of it back or all of it. You realize a return, take it. If you're an investor, it doesn't matter. All right. An investor holds for a long time. He's not interested in earning, you know, 15 pounds in the next 20 minutes or 300 pounds in the next two hours. He's looking at the bigger picture. So this is really exempt from investors. OK, investors will take out profit as and when he'll look at the six month period that he's held it he'll say you know what i'm going to take 20 percent. happy days i'm going to buy the missus a bag all right doesn't matter to investors i'm talking about day traders traders who come into the streams and always ask i've got a 200 percent return i've just made two thousand pounds on ethereum or on ada what do i do what do i do if you're having to ask what you need to do with profit when the reason why 90% of traders, okay, lose in this game is because they don't pay themselves. Like, come on. You've come into this game to make money. You get given money and you're sitting there twiddling your thumbs thinking, how do I, you know, how do I pay myself? Come on, guys. You know, pay yourself. I ran some statistics on my trades quite some time ago and found that all but 72% of my losers were winners before they were losers. Nah, man, that doesn't sit right. How can 72% of your losers were winners before they were a loss? Do you know how much money I would be sitting on right now if I paid myself on all those winners? Do you understand? You know, it's crazy. Absolutely unbelievable when you look at the psychology of the importance of paying yourself in this game. It's not engineered for you to make money, man. And when you do make money, they do their hardest to keep you in the trade, to make you believe you can make more. You know, that's what it is. Make you believe you can make more. Man, I'm getting angry with you lot, man. <laughs> now nah, I'm playing with you, but guys, look, just appreciate, yeah? I've, I'm, I've been the trader that got really good at losing. You know, one of my one of my key skills in trading was the ability to lose really well. You know, and I'll admit that I was really good at it. I had a fantastic habit of losing and it took me a long time to realize and come out of that habit, man. You know how hard that was to still be in the game, always expecting to lose because I didn't understand what was going on. You know. Look, when you say regular people, it's just people that don't know how to trade. Educate yourself. This is what this stream's about, is getting you to understand the game, okay? They get you to understand the game. That's what I'm trying to do. If you realize a return, take it. Don't hold it. Don't think there's some big science behind holding a trade. Investors, different story, man. They're a different kettle of fish. You know, you don't bother investors, right? You don't come to investors and you say, yo, you know, I know you're holding Ada, man. It gained 12%. What are you saying? An investor will just look at you and be like, bruv, I'm holding Ada for the next 10 years. I don't care what she does now. I'll look at it in 10 years. Yeah, but what if she, you know, loses all her value in the next 10 years? Bro, I'm invested in the concept, the idea of what she can do. Forget what she does now. I'm not interested. If she does, if she even if she makes a thousand percent, I'll be like, cool. I'm an investor. I might take 10% out, you know? Investors are the OGs of the game, man. They're the OGs. They're the guys that sit back and watch. They're the watchers. They're, you know, they're your Dr. Dre's in the industry. Like, they'll sit back and they'll be watching. They'll be like, ah, okay, everyone's getting excited about this 2% rise in price. Like, what? Well, that's nothing, man. You know? Let's see where we at when it is going to be at, you know, 60, 70 pounds. And we're sitting as an investor and we got like 12,000 of these coins. Like, what's going on? You know, that's exactly what investors are. But then you've got the guys who want to day trade it. You know, the guys who want to day trade it. And it's a different kettle of fish of day traders. You know, you can't compare investors, investors and traders. Two different mindsets, two different types of psychologies, two different levels of patience. You know? Yeah, it's all good, man. It's all good. Is now a good time to buy ADA? Unknown TR. I can't tell you, man. I'm not here to give you advice. I'm here to give you the pattern. Okay? Here to give you the pattern. Now, I'll go. Guys, can we have the increase in likes, please? I'm not happy with the likes, man. 
You need to help me out. I help you, you help me. That's your tuition for this. For this. That's your payment for this. Please go and like the stream. You know, that's your that's your commission to me. You know? <laughs> Dopes, it probably is. You know? Yeah, that's it. Um, that's the problem. When you're a trader, okay, you tend to turn into an investor when your trade's not going your way. And that's a bad move. That is a very bad move. Algo's forming out the W formation. Con um, confirmation candles coming up. Test the re It will hit the 200 day moving average and retrace continuation to the upside. Profit target hypothetically will be um, if. If I were to trade this, I'd be expecting the M4 pattern to be played out uh, 1.90, well, 1.2. That's where I would be looking for algo to reach as long as it stays in line with the market. Can you tell me how to ride a bike, please? Um, Michael K, do we have to unsubscribe or unsubscribe all today because the big w from bitcoin yesterday went not to the moon hold on it didn't go to the moon but it didn't go anywhere else so why would you unsubscribe nothing's happened for you to to justify that you know guys look <laughs> don't make the mistake of thinking that there has to be a time zone on someone saying that they think price is going to hit here or hit there when someone gives a prediction all right they wait for it to hit it before they take the credit me i'll say to you i want bitcoin to hit at least the yesterday's high or the m4 pattern okay i'll never give you a timeline on it but you can see how close price is towards it where is price in relation to the m4 is 27,203 pips away Bitcoin's average daily range, okay, is 44,781 pips on the exchange. Okay, so it's half its daily range. In other words, it will have to travel up there and it would only it would have achieved half of the average journey it travels on a day to day. That is a projection. That sorry, that is a plausible approach. That is an acceptable measurement to say that Bitcoin could hit the M4, you know? Happy days. But to say that Bitcoin's going to hit $72,000 in the next two months, nah, justify that to me. Justify it to me. Statistically, from its average daily range, $72,000, look at how far Bitcoin would have to travel in terms of pips. Okay, so let's get $72,000, right? Let's put it up here. There you go. All right. So from this point down to here, it is 250,250 pips. Okay. Well, Bitcoin's average daily range times three. So in a week, Bitcoin will travel 134,342 pips. Okay. So it would effectively need to do two times ADR times three. It would have to travel that just distance twice for it to get to 72,000. Can it do that in one week? Maybe. Can it do it in two weeks? Maybe. You know, but the likeliness of that happening straight away, could it travel 134,000 pips in one instance? Never. It couldn't do it. I mean, if you look back at when Elon, Elon Musk brought $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin. Okay. Look at what happened there. Let's just go back. Let's drop the hourly. I'm going to go to the, some other coins as well in a second, guys. All right, there you go. That was, um, no, that wasn't it. Right, that was, no, that wasn't it. Yeah, yeah, sorry, it was it, sorry. There, that was Bitcoin, okay? When Elon Musk brought Bitcoin, okay? How far did it travel? 37,000. 386 pips that move its average daily range is 44,000 all right happy days look it did it in line with its move it wasn't even deemed as a big move 
<laughs> it's average daily range. Everyone's getting excited about it. For what? It just moved the normal direction it would normally move. They don't tell you that. You know? Right. What have we got? What have we got here, folks? Josh, I've got a arm bank for my bank. If you would like to send Bitcoin over to my life, my idea. <coughs> Excuse me. You said yesterday weekends aren't good days to trade, but if I don't want to trade and just hold to the weekend, is that fine? Well, it's like you're an intermittent investor. You know? You're an intermittent investor, so... How do you get the ADR, another info in the top right, and MT4, what's the indicator? That is, I'm adding that into the Discord today. Guys, the Discord today is gonna have an influx of things in it, okay? I'm gonna get a load of things put in there, which I think are gonna be helpful to you guys. So just keep an eye out, make sure you join the Discord and get with the, and you know, you're gonna get all the stuff from there as well. Okay, then game troll, you need to, you need to hide user, okay. Oh, did I just do that to the wrong per? Oh, there we go. That's cool. Yeah, don't don't trade yet. Do not trade. Do not trade until you got confirmation. There's no reason to trade right now. Ethereum, where are we at? Okay, let's just move price forward. Okay, she's sitting nice there. Ethereum is just sitting nicely right at the lows. There she is right there. Not gonna, not gonna see much, guys. We ain't gonna see much on, until Sunday. I mean, yeah, till Sunday night, you know? Let's see the alts. Where are we at with the alts? Yep, yeah, Binance, not really doing much in line with the bigger pattern, okay? Ada, see what she's doing? Actually, I've got Ada. Yeah, I've got Ada here. Ada's right there. There we go. Look at that, man. To the T. She just forms there. If you are new to the room, we need those likes for YouTube Alga. If you support this channel, please hit like. Treat it like a doorbell when you enter the live stream. That is such a cool way. Yeah, guys, could we could we move the likes up if you don't mind? If you don't mind. All the guys coming in, getting the likes up. That's awesome. Thank you so much. You know, 506 of you, 569 of you in the room. That is brilliant. You know, for a Saturday stream, that's so cool. So much on FOMO, yeah. But when you understand the actual cycle itself with Ada, it's in line for another move to the upside. Why? Because it's come out of a peak formation. Look, the first cycle. Here we go. Rise. It's come out of the pattern. Rise, retrace, level one. Rise, retrace, level two. We're expecting in line with this pattern okay the pattern that we did earlier on guys where are we okay where are we with the pattern ask yourself have we achieved this correct have we achieved this done it have we achieved this correct what's next we're expecting another move to the upside so it would need to take out this high when it takes out that high it will go on to form a pattern to reset the process all right They'll then come back down, rise, retrace, rise, and form another peak formation, which is higher than the previous one. And then should keep going, you know? Yeah, we welcome, man. Welcome to the channel, bro. Here you go. Here is a um, Stella. We were looking at Stella not so long ago. XLM is doing, just, it's doing some awesome numbers, man. Look at this behavior. Look at that, man. Okay, so she's broken out of the bigger W and the smaller pattern here. If you, if you can see that. You've got the small W here. Rise, pull back, rise, retrace, continuation to the upside. Now what we're waiting for her to do is we're testing to see if this rise is going to experience a retrace, continuation to the upside. Because there's so much strength in Stella. I mean, all the altcoins are moving. You know, all the altcoins are moving. Boom, it depends on my account. It depends on my account. Sometimes I'll have, I'll have an account with 500 to one leverage, but I understand how to use leverage in my favor, okay? And sometimes I have no leverage. You know, that's sometimes I don't have no leverage depending on what I'm looking to trade. You know, so I've got several accounts where each one has a different strategy to it depending on what I'm looking to do, you know? I believe Cardano is going to change the game, man. I'm 
Rocky cost average in his bio first thing. Yeah, investment strategy. Hypersonic. I agree with you there, man. I completely agree with you. That is the best way of doing it. Big fan of scalping the TDI. King Kai. You know what? There's there is there is loads that you don't know about the TDI, which I'm gonna be talking about. You know. Thank you so much for the likes, guys. 408. Let's go. Yes, the reason. Yo, Chuck, look. Let's look. Look at the spread on Bitcoin right now. Look at the spread on Ethereum. It's nice and tight, but look at the spread on Bitcoin. Okay. <laughs> look at it. When they do this, okay, they are straddling. The term's called straddling, right? They are made, they're working all the orders. Let's look at Bitcoin from the one. So from the one minute time frame, okay, then you will understand what's going on. All right, and the concept of straddling. Watch. Here we go. Where is she at? Do you see that? Do you see what's happening there? Can you see that mad behavior? Let me put the ask line up, man. The ask line's not even there. Here we go. Watch this. Look at this red line, and this is the bid. No, right? look at that. Wow, they are working the spread, man. The market makers are getting paid off all the traders that are coming into Bitcoin on the weekends. And look, it's not going anywhere. You know? t you know what? I've been told. I've been told to do that. Yeah, man. Who's who's knocking back Ada, man? Boy. Just wait till Ada gets Coinbase listing. That's where it'll get crazy. Yeah, man. I know. Look at Bitcoin spread. I know. Look at it. 10,000 pips, man. What the? Look at it. Nearly a, just over, just under a third of its average daily range that it can travel in spread. You know, that's why you don't trade Saturdays, man. Market makers just take the piss, man. Look at what they're doing. There are investors coming, well, traders coming in this like, yo, I'm gonna try and scalp Bitcoin today. It's Saturday, the missus have gone out with the kids. It's just me in my boxers with my coffee, sitting in front of the TV on my PC. I'm ready to try and take on Bitcoin, man. Just sit down, shut up. Don't enter the trades, man. Look at what she's doing, man. They're just working the spreads. They're getting paid right now, the market makers are. You know? Getting paid. Look at them. Pin in the 800. Pin, pin, pin. Back up, back up and back. It's crazy, man. Unbelievable. Who wants back? <clears throat> so have a look at that. And you know what, guys? Everyone's going to have an opinion on what they believe on price, on, on Bitcoin, on Ethereum, on ADA. But ultimately, all we can do is just look at what she's doing in terms of price. You know? That's all she can do. I'll have a look at Luna as well. Yeah, no problem. There we go. So what have we got? Binance, bigger pattern. Okay, bigger pattern. Right, smaller pattern down here. Rise, retrace at the 50-day moving average. Continuation to the upside as long as the 50-day holds. The 50-day bounce, man, that is the sweet strategy. Look at the confluence. It pins, right? It pins the 200-day. Okay, stays above the 50-day. The 50-day now is about to cross over to the 200-day. Okay, and that's what's going to happen right there. That golden cross right there is going to work wonders. Okay, it's the bounce trade, baby. That's what it is. You know, wait for confirmation. No financial advice given. I'm just showing you my articulate way of drawing. You know, I'm an artist. That's what I do. I just draw lines. Nothing fancy, guys. It's, you know, they don't mean anything. It's just drawing. You know, SWP. Let's have a look at SWP. Oh man, why is he always cutting that? I hate that guy. This guy has this massive hedge, right? And he's always cutting it. Every time I do something in my office, he wants to cut his hedge. I'm going to burn that hedge one day, man. Seriously. SWP, is it a stock? Because it's not coming up. SWP, I'm not seeing anything. Um, I'm roughly 50%. Bitcoin, 30% ADA, 20% Ethereum, not including miscellaneous holdings. Which is stronger spreads on weekends or compounding Ws? You don't want to trade spreads, man. You don't want spreads. You don't want spreads. I'm longing that like button, team. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming out ASAP. Gas price is way too high, and ADA and DOT will take the 
the ERC20 market. I believe that this is living Ada. Yeah, what about AVAX? Let's have a look at AVAX. Okay, AVAX, see what she's doing in that instance. There you go, all coming up from lows. You know, all coming up from lows. That's where we are. Um, let me just have a look at Ada for a split second. There we go, she's right there. Keeping an eye on Ada. Having a look at Ethereum. Let's have a look at Ethereum just for a second. Where's she at? Bitcoin, you just sit there and behave yourself, Bitcoin. Stop being silly. You know, be silly to the guys that are trading you today. Okay. XLM again. Okay, let's have a look at XLM. XLM. XLM, where you at? Stella. Right, okay, XLM. Guys, look, they've just shifted them out of the zone. They're holding the coins right now. They're holding. Everyone now in the markets now, they're all straddling. They're just working the zones. They're working the zones. Which video should I watch to learn your strategies for crypto? Look in the streams, guys. Look at, Go back and look at the streams. Have them playing because ultimately, you know, there's the image. The image stays pretty much the same on the charts, guys. Okay? You know, and I've got guys that literally have clocked in like 100 hours of stream time understanding what I'm trying to portray to about this about this strategy okay it's there it's free and it's there all you need to do is just get yourself an mt4 account if you can't get an mt4 account if you can go to the, uh, the link in the description download mt4 then go to the discord and download the indicators there okay if you can't do that can't get an ic markets account go to trading view get an account there and go to the discord and get the indicators there everything is free guys there is no cost you know you'll get more from this channel than you'll ever give believe me you'll get more from this channel than you'll ever give and yet there's 614 of you and i've only got 432 likes guys where's your commission i need the commission and it's in the form of likes and it's free to like what's going on man <laughs> can artists tell me what are those pips i'm just beginning to learn reading the charts and i haven't seen this yet all right cool pips are a measure of price um movement okay why are they keeping ethereum down why are they keeping um bitcoin down the reason they're keeping them down is because they're working the zones they are they are effectively building accumulating more of it now we won't know where we are with them until they break out of the zone you know thank you bro what did he hold on what's his name Lee peter hall nice one bro yes like i want to see 600 likes i want to see more likes than streamers man i mean viewers what's going on it's not working yes yeah, sorry um bacardi's man i will check that for you let me have a look right now ck um ckb i love nervous network man nervous network is the best i love this look at it man pumped up w formation waiting for it to play out fantastic technology that and hot that and hot you know icon i actually haven't looked at icon for a long time same formation guys look what she's doing look drop retrace back in shifting out of the zone at the 50 day and the 200 day if you don't think it's coincidence more should i say it's actually um synchronicity at its best all right you guys have to understand right this it's it is just crazy what we are in i said it to you earlier on financial evolution it's all changing you know Okay then, give me two seconds. I am just going to Picasso Jeff. <laughs> How you doing, bro? <laughs> like, sub, can you look at Vet wearing the zone? Thank you very much, my man. Vet, we are here. Vet. Yep, W formation, my friend. We're still waiting for it to come out. Nothing will happen until the weekend, guys. You know, nothing will happen. You know? yeah chuck g he's he's looking at a bigger time frame all right if you're wondering why is chuck g saying that we know we're short and what have you chuck g is looking at a different time frame me i'm looking at short-term moves to the upside the retraces that's what we're doing okay with the cycles within the cycles within the cycles when do you think they're going to actually drop price who knows 
When is it going to rise? Who knows? Okay, we, we don't make bold predictions. We make projections. Big difference, man. Projection is a series of calculations that resolve to one outcome. Okay, if that outcome plays out, our predictions and our calculations have been sound. If it doesn't, it invalidates our calculations. So we then go back to the drawing board and start again. That's the beauty of trading. There is a continuous feedback loop, you know. What's your thoughts for the week ahead? First time viewer, but heavy into Ada. Thanks for joining the Dodge Train. Thanks for joining the Dodge Train and then reading them reading in. OK, cool. Yeah, I mean, my projections for the week. That's what I do on the Sunday. That'll be tomorrow night. You know, Tino, you still haven't. What's that? Hold on, Tino, you still haven't went to make your drink. Yes, I know. I haven't gone to make my drink because I still only got 490 likes and 600 viewers. Guys, please get the likes up. We've got to get this YouTube algorithm in play. You know? Oh, yes, guys, my coin, this technology, Fetch AI, man. Who knows about Fetch AI? Oh, my days. Fetch AI. What are you doing? Unbelievable. Guys, if you know what Fetch AI is, listen to this, right? Fetch AI, the technology behind it is to help wholesalers hedge their exposure in terms of stock that they hold. Listen to this. Imagine you're a wholesaler and there's guys who've probably heard this before, right? The guys who in the wholesale industry, when they buy stock, whether it's frozen or, you know, just sitting there in terms of steel, whatever, right? Let's take a wholesaler who has frozen meat. He goes and buys 20 tons of frozen beef, okay? He freezes his beef, 20 tons of it, and he comes into a foot and mouth pandemic, all right? He's got 20 tons and he's like, what am I going to do? I've got like 20 grand, 30 grand sitting there. I'm just losing money now. I can't shift it. He comes to the Fetch, Net, Fetch AI network and in the Fetch AI network, there are other wholesalers with the same problem, okay, but from different industries. So then what this guy does is he says, hold on a second, I can actually turn my stock into a smart contract and hedge it against someone else's and the income that I generate off that covers my exposure or reduces my exposure on my physical stock that I've got, okay? It's effectively a stock market for wholesalers who have got stock sitting in fridges or in warehouses doing nothing. What a fantastic thing, man. Do you understand what that is? You know? Yeah, I am inflating the like market, man. If I'm going to be, I'm going to be a like shill guy. <laughs> That's me. But the Fetch AI is coming out of the zone, guys. It's breaking the 50-day moving average, broken the 200-day moving average on the one-hour time frame. Absolutely huge. The 50 days looking to cross over. We are expecting Fetch to come out, retrace, continuation to the upside. What are we going to be hitting? 30 cents? Easy. We'll hit 30 cents, no problem. It's already nearly hit it anyway. 31 could be the near projection, the M5 point up here that's what i'm looking for you know now imagine guys i'm looking at taking profits at these quick zones quick price movements you know i'm not looking for home runs i don't care about the home runs home runs means i'm exposing my cash to more exposure by the market makers do you understand you know um analyze your concurrent viewer chart what am i meant to see ah yes 500 likes it's 596 of you in the room okay okay let me just quickly get that drink let me just quickly get that drink guys Two seconds.
All right, yo, what's good? What is good? I'm back now. Okay. Okay then, so where are we at? Where is everyone at? Okay, so Matrix, man, you see a new roadmap, new part of the Easy X10. Mm -hmm. Don't just hit the like button, subscribe too. Thank you guys. Eat the breaking down, what's good to you know? Well, yeah, man, I'm good, man, what's happening? MT4 to MT5, it's just a couple of things different with MT4 and MT5. But MT4 itself is just a laggy thing for me, man. You know, I don't... I'm MT5, yeah, it just... It lags and it also is... Um, it's got a lot of bugs. You know, it's got a lot of bugs. Okay? All right, and is... Yo, Mike Dutch, are you in the room, bro? Mike Are you in the room? Are you in the room? Okay, cool. Okay. All right, and cool. I just put my phone on there. How wild was that? You never leave, wicked bro. I'm gonna need your help with that, um, with the Streamlabs thing, man. I'm just trying to make the Streamlab. Gonna do a Streamlab setup, guys, so that it's easy on the eyes and for everyone. Okay, so where are we at? Bitcoin, what's you doing? 15 minute time frame. Bitcoin. Let's look on the hourly. Yeah, straddling, not doing anything. Litecoin. No, it's all good, bro. It's all good. Don't trade with your brain, trade with your heart. <laughs> oh, there's another Matt as well, Matt Mike, yep. Okay. Yo, trade uh, AGI, what's AGI? I've never heard of AGI. Yeah, there are some coins that you guys are talking about that have no existence. I didn't even know about. Okay, here we go. Wow. Look at that. That formation, man. Perfect. There's That is a classic shifting zone. Look at that. Shifting out of the zone. You know? King Krubs, what's good, man? What's good? How 9,000? I can't help you then, my friend. Let me look at Luna, sorry. Yeah, I can't help you with any financial advice, guys. Look at Luna and... Luna, where is it? Oh yeah, Ravencoin. Luna and Ravencoin. I hold Ravencoin. I like Ravencoin. There you go. Luna's just sitting. You know, although she's come back down to this area here, she hasn't actually broken below it. So we need to determine if there's strength in this in this coin here. Got to wait. We have to wait. Ravencoin, where we are. Okay. Oof, Ravencoin's dropping. Ooh. We could see an aggressive move to the downside, rise, retrace, continuation to the upside. So second, first left forming, W formation, back up. Let's see if it works. As long as it doesn't take out this area here, you know? Um, yeah, let's look at Ethereum. Litecoin's pulling back, so that means Ethereum is pulling back. Yeah. Everything's pulling back, you know? Um, hold on, Mr. Ada review, no problem. I'll do the Ada review. Okay, so Ada is right now. It's currently in a formation of a pattern. Okay, so Ada came out of the W formation. God, I keep wanting to cough, man. It's nuts. <clears throat> W formation right here, and it's been holding it all week. 
Okay, now in line of this cycle here, guys, retrace, rise, retrace, rise, peak formation, drop, rise, drop, rise, drop, peak formation. Okay, in line of that, Ethereum, I'm sorry, ADA right now is in line with this side of the pattern. Okay, so look, W formation, rise, level one, level one, rise, level two, level two. We are expecting ADA, a move to, from ADA to the upside. All right, once it achieves that move to the upside, we will then see a peak formation complete somewhere in this region where I'm assuming or projecting that ADA should hit the most it could hit before it pulls back um, after it rises. We'll probably see about $2, $2.10 maybe. I'm adjusting my projection. $2.10 before it forms a peak formation. Okay and now what i'm what i'm thinking as well is there's a, there's two things you've got to understand as well guys there are two types of um trends there's the fast move and the false move and the slow trend is the true trend when market makers want to induce people to come into the markets they move price fast out of a zone they suck them in then they reverse it and then they start the true trend okay they want to encourage so many people man so many people Get them in there. Oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Yeah, Steph, I'm going to be looking to do that, man. Nuno, you need to go into the Discord, my friend. Go into the Discord. Oh, yeah, Reef. Reef was kind of good. <clears throat> there you go. Reef is just sat sticking with the formation. Waiting for the pattern to play out. You know? The bigger pattern is right there. All right? Bigger pattern. We're just waiting for it to form. You know? <clears throat> yeah, indicators on Discord. It's Bitcoin, Ethereum, bullish from here onwards. Boom, I couldn't tell you if they're bullish. I can only tell you what they're doing right now. Right now, they're just working the zone. They're accumulating. They're stuck in the zone. There are guys that actually trade this right now. They're trading this high and this low. They're trading it. Okay? Because they want to, you know, they want to be better than the market. <clears throat> they want to be better than the market. What price tonight? Oh, come on, man. You know, the price, we will never know what price it could get to just simply throwing it out. We'll make an assumption. You know, it's okay for an assumption. Where will price be tonight? Well, nothing's happening in the markets tonight. So it's going to stay exactly where it is. You know? Or it might break down a little bit. Who knows? We'll trade. When we want to come in to trade it, we will then decide what it's doing at that point in time whiskey on green days happy days john let's have a look let's have a look john xlm um market cap hold on i don't want that um here we go so yeah what xlm's doing is coming out of the zone so it's worked now level one coming out of the zone okay level one now, for level one to be confirmed, price is just probably going to tank a little bit, okay? And then it will start to move out, rise out, retrace, continuation to the upside. Level one is confirmed. Then we're working level two. Where are we in the cycle? W formation, right? Rise, retrace, rise, retrace, rise, peak formation, drop, rise, drop, rise, W formation, okay? That's where we are. So we've done level one right now. We're working level one. We need price now to bottom out, okay? and then bounce from that area, rise level two, okay? This is the pattern that you guys need to be memorizing in your minds. This is the pattern, okay? It comes out of a zone, it retraces. Entry point will be at the advanced point or at the safety entry, okay? Do not consider doing the advanced entry because there are a number of factors that have to come into play with the advanced entry. For example, all right? You need to be sure that the moving average is at least in that area, okay? Notice here, look, let's zoom in a little bit, all right? Zoom in right there. Watch this. You've got a break. Look, look, look here. Can you see it here? You see this pattern? Rise, retrace, continuation up, okay? Well, there's the safety entry, the top of it there. You can also do the advanced entry there. I did that drawing last night, that red little dot there. I did it last night, guys, in the live. Watch the last night's live stream. That red dot there was the entry. Look what it did. Pinged it to the upside. Okay, took it out. All right. That's the advanced entry. And it's in line with a moving average. All right. 
It breaks out, always looks to pull back to retest this zone, forms another pattern. Rise, retrace. Pin to the low, pin to the low, pin to the low. All right, working the 50 day, taking the guys who believe it's gonna continue to the downside short, using their liquidity to open longs. And then what do they do? They move price out of the zone. Next element, short um, advanced entry as the candle breaks through that area there or this previous high here, or safety entry, breaks up, retrace, continuation to the upside, okay? That's how it works. <coughs> Well, no, Edison, I can't give you any advice, my friend, but we don't necessarily trade weekends. Well, I try and encourage people to not trade weekends because it's a fishy market, fishy areas. Look, it's just sideways. Why? Why would you want to enter on that zone? There's nothing happening. You know, there's absolutely nothing happening. You know? I'm losing my voice. How bad is that going to be if I lose my voice, man? If I lose my voice, boy, you're going to be asking for transcripts, man. Oh, nice. Okay. ENJ. Wow, ENJ's done exactly what um, Ada's done, man. Completely respected the, the formation. Look, this is our analysis from it before rise retrace level one rise retrace level two however it's not look this now is going here this is the true level two right true level two is here why because it's broken out but it's pulled straight back and it hasn't gone to try and move to the upside so we're expecting another move to the upside are we witnessing a w pattern maybe quite an extended one as well look one two three four rise out of the pattern it needs to break out this area here and when it does break out, it will retrace, continuation to the upside, okay? There's your advanced entry, safety entry, forming an M pattern drop. To come back down and retest it, form another W pattern, rise up again. Very, very monotonous, guys. But you're not going to complain when you're continuously earning. Thank you, Adrian. And got y'all, guys, thank you very much for the subscriptions, man. For anyone that's new to the team, you know, I stream every single day. I stream in the morning where I have a playlist of music which I'm going to be putting to the Discord later on. And then in the evening, I'll do a stream from half past nine in the evening GMT all the way through to about one, two o'clock in the morning GMT because we always like to catch the Tokyo and the Hong Kong open. All right. Tonight, I won't be streaming because I think my voice is going to go by then. But I won't be streaming tonight. Give you guys a chance to just catch up with the videos. Have a look at the playlists in the YouTube channel. It talks about so many things, you know, understanding entries and exits, trading with this system as such. There's a presidential election back when Biden and Trump were doing the rock, the polls. I was trading the election, um, open and closing trades, giving insight and descriptions on why I was making those trades and what have you. So yeah, there's a lot on there, guys. Yeah, so, um, so go do, I'm going to do it, man. I'm going to do it. You know, the rise, retrace, continuation, pull back 50 dates to pin 200. There you go. That's it. No worries, Stevie, man. No worries. Now, I've got a stream tomorrow, man. Always got a stream on a Sunday because we always got to see what, how these patterns play out, you know? Well, you'd say to me, Adriana, to not stream tomorrow because you can't make it. <laughs> Anton, maybe. You know, Andy Warhol loves pushing the like button. He says it looks the same but changes color. <laughs> no worries, Renee. Cardone already on the moon. Rough landing tomorrow now. Awaits FOMO on its peak. It will deflate soon. Two, I have, two, I have an important question. I'm learning technical analysis for two years now triangles channels emas etc are you saying that's all some kind of bullshit and it's only about the m m making m's and w's sorry to blow your bubble bro but yes it is bullshit 
It's designed for you to lose money and make money in the longer run. It's designed for the market maker to know where liquidity is at. Okay. Here's an example. <clears throat> Let's understand the concept of what a W pattern is. All right. I'm going to go and bring it to you over here. All right. Some of you guys may have already heard about this. Okay. But there is a lesson to be learned in this system. Okay. Watch this. Okay. So you have to understand the concept of what it means when price is rising and when price is dropping. All right. Now, hold on. Yes, I will. I'm going to where I'm going to. Fuck me. That's thanks for answering. Now, Joris, yeah, listen, I'm going to explain to you why. Okay. And this is where it's going to help you. All right. Everyone is of the understanding that when price is rising, it means that the bulls are in charge. Okay. Can everyone tell me, is that, uh, do they agree with that? Yes, Ruru, it is free. Yeah. If you need the software, download IC Markets if you can. Okay. And links in the description. And then when you've done that, go to the Discord, which is pinned to the top of the chat. Or alternatively, I can just quickly do this for you. Here is the Discord. Okay, now most of you guys will probably come and say like they can't access the Discord. What you need to do is you need to go to the rules and verify tab and press the green tick button. You verify yourself in that way. Okay, so yes, so Joris, so look, everyone agrees, okay, that when price is rising, the bulls are in control, yeah? People are saying no, people are saying no. I'm glad you're saying no, no, okay? Bulls are never in charge, okay? Buyers are never in charge. When price is rising, it means that the market makers are selling. In order for you to buy something, someone has to be on the other end to sell it. So who's in control? As it's rising, it means people, the market maker is selling more. He's building shorts at higher prices. He will never build a short at a low price and hope that it goes lower. He builds it as it's rising, okay? They don't teach you that in these retail trader books, okay? So here's an example here, right? When we talk about shorts, when price is dropping, it's not because the sellers are in control. That's the biggest BS on earth. You know, the market makers are sending price lower so that they can get longs at shorter or at lower prices with the anticipation to close them at a higher rate later on. This is the concept, buy low, sell high. People buy low when it's rising. They think, oh, a little dip there, I'm going to buy into it. Man, what are you doing? People think by buying at the all-time high is buying in low because you think it's going to continue up higher. No. You buy low as it's dropping. That's what the market maker does. And he does this in the form of a vector candle. One vector, two, three vector candles to the downside. Vector candle is a strong candle. It's a pressure candle. You know, vector in the terms of engineering is something that has force, speed, power. Okay. So what they do is they build shorts as it's dropping. All the while, they are creating the illusion that price is going to the downside. So what are retail traders doing? They are going short. They are inducing the market to go short, right? Then what happens? Whilst they're inducing the shorts, retail traders are setting stop losses as it's dropping. You know, they're like, yeah, guys, look, I'm going short. I'm riding this baby. Yeah, man, we're going to go, you know, cashing out. All right. What happens? Market maker pins the low. OK, because there are guys that went short here right remember they're building sh stop losses as they go down the market maker pins the low and reverses price back up it tells the retail trader yeah okay it's bound to retrace but also it's taking out the guys who've got tight stops as it's returning back up what happens next is the market maker then pins price all the way back down reinstalls the concept that the market is going to drop so they probably induce more traders to go short but what happens then they reverse price back up again you know and then price continues up as it's going up it's taking out the stop losses what's happening is the market maker is now starting to run his longs and realize a return on them okay he gets price up all the way up here he stops he pins the high it's an 800 day moving average retail traders think that's a resistance okay it's a resistance let's let's look at where we are market maker pulls back he then makes the retail trader believe that it's going to continue short to the downside again so the retail trader that was here that got stopped out on the move back up, he's got an opportunity to re-enter again. So he enters short, bang, he enters short, he drops, crosses over a moving average, it goes lower, it goes lower, 
The retail trade is getting excited. Bang, look, it's getting closer towards the low. Let's go, baby. And before you know it, the market maker reverses price all the way back up, takes out all the shorts, completely squashes those guys who are short here, and then pins to the high again. And then it starts again. He does it all over again. He then makes them believe, okay, it's gonna drop again because it's at the 50 day moving average. Drops down again, pins the low, traps them up again, takes their money. Does exactly the same here. Brings it back to the 50 day, traps their money, moves price down, allows them to believe that price is gonna continue to the downside. It's gone down, it's gone down, it's gone down. It's induced more traders to go short. And then before you know it, he does it again here. Bang, he moves price all the way up again. Retrace, holds the zone, pulls it back up. What are they doing? They are working the zones to build longs at lower prices, using the liquidity of the short sellers in the retail market okay that's how they do it guys man my voice is done my god <laughs> yeah yeah man held price down two months straight yeah it's true look this is this is from um this is this concept i'm talking about is really what i use in forex okay now if you look at this Right? I was trading Kiwi Yen, and I always refer to Kiwi Yen because she just trades so beautifully for me. Okay, where is it? Is it here? Yes, here it is. So you can see I've got patterns all over the place. I've been trading Kiwi Yen, riding these moves. Look, here you go, W formation, rise, shift candle out of the zone, advanced entry right there, can you see it? Advanced entry right there. That was my entry there, rode that all the way to about the mid point here. I didn't ride it all the way. I then waited for the New York reversal to happen. New York comes in, pins the high, pulls price back down. You know, that's how she does it. But here's an example. You see this red box, right? This red box, this red box is three whole, it's nearly a week from here all the way across. Nearly Tuesday from, yeah, from Thursday all the way through to Tuesday, they held that zone. How many people were getting squashed up there, man? You know, they've been holding the zone for ages. You know? I hope it does, Joris, man, because they, they give you the opposite of it all, man. They're not giving you the right idea. You know, like Fibonacci's. I ain't even going to talk about Fibonacci's, how they're used to manipulate you guys. Seriously, Fibonacci's are there for you to tell the market maker. Now imagine, hundreds and hundreds and thousands of guys, right? um do you know they use fibonacci's all right they put stop losses they put limit orders stop orders you are pretty much giving the market maker your money by letting him know where everything is and whenever price goes to it why do you think it goes to it what because of the golden mean get the fuck out of here man golden mean it's the biggest bs man the golden mean works in other areas of life okay in the harmony of the universe yes i understand that okay the number sequence i get it okay but man if you guys believe that the, it goes there because it's the golden mean no man it's because the market maker can see there's probably like 500 million dollars worth of longs in that area and in order for him to get his shorts at higher prices he has to tap that liquidity so he sends price in that direction my days i ain't gonna carry on man I, I can't stand it. Do you understand why it pisses me off about the market makers? And people swear by certain strategies as well. If you don't understand the business model, the market maker business model, you're going to get squashed. You know? This is going to... I mean, oh man. It's just unbelievable. It is unbelievable. It makes... It's, it's, it's comical. You know? And there are guys that are killing it in the game by only winning 50 to 60% of the time. I'm not in this business to be earning 50 to 60% of the time. Winning, that is. I'm not in that business. If I'm doing the same thing that the market maker is, or should I say, I'm more aware of the market maker's behavior, I want to be hitting 78s, 80s, 90s. Go in the Discord and you'll see guys are winning. 20 trades, 18 of them winners. Okay? They keep doing that. And they're going to keep coming back and saying that. Their percentage is going to be high. You know, we're not in the business to only break even or, you know, just get half our money kind of thing. 50%, 60%. You know, I can do better playing, you know, card counting, blackjack at casinos. I can do a better job doing that, you know? Nah, man. 
You know, and it's easy for me to say this, guys. Yes, granted, I get that. I've been in the game 10 years. I've got Chuck G. He's been in 15 years in the game. He understands the concepts, you know. We both have a different strategy, but we're surviving in the game of trading. Why? Because we understand the way price moves. We understand the basis of how people behave at certain areas. Correct me if I'm wrong, Chuck. Let me know if I'm wrong, but I don't think I am. All right, and guys, listen. I've chewed your ear off. I've probably lost my throat, okay? I'm gonna look at Stella one more time, okay? And then I'm gonna leave you guys to it. I'm gonna leave you guys to it. There you go, Stella. She's, look, you ain't gonna see much now. You ain't gonna see much. How to recognize a W formation. The way you recognize a W pattern is you need to see a, an aggressive move to the downside. The first leg is an aggressive move to the downside, like here. Look, three pushes to the low, aggressive move. That's your first leg. Now, you could be drawing your leg for a little while, okay, if you're trying to catch a low, all right? But you'll know it when you see an aggressive move to the downside with the form of the red candles because it's the market makers creating the climatic behavior, okay? Creating climatic behavior. Now, the way you know it's coming out of the first leg is when it forms a bottom or creates pins like this. Pulls out and goes to the 50-day moving average. Remember, it always returns back, mean reversion. You know, that's how you identify the first leg. The second leg is price pulls away and comes back down to test this area here, but it doesn't completely take it out. Sometimes it can hit it, but sometimes it can pull slightly away from it. You won't see it pulling away slightly from it most of the time. You'll always see it come at least halfway, which is where it's done right there, okay? And then the second leg is formed, okay? Okay. Will, let's have a look. Link. There you go, Link, it's not doing much. Stuck in the zone. Stuck in the zone. There we go. Right there. Candle time frames that I use are 15 minute for entries, one hour for the cycles. Okay. Now I'm gonna look at this one last coin. Yeah, I'm gonna go rest, man. I need to have to do something with Matt with um Matt. He's gonna help me out. I keep saying it because I'm hoping that he can. <laughs> I know he's got my back. He's got my back. And P X S. Everyone asks about this one, Pundi. Here we go. Trading. Oh God, no, that's not right. Surely. Hmm. Not really. Here we go. Yeah. Not doing much, man. Very light, very lightly traded thing, man. You can tell it's lightly traded when you have got these wild price swings here, man. You know, you want to be careful with those guys. Yeah. Anyways, guys, listen, I'm going to go, okay? But thank you so much for coming to the stream, guys. You know? Thank you for passing through. Anyone that's passed through from Ryan's channel, you know, I'm looking forward to speaking to you guys soon. Got this live stream with him later on. All my, all my existing guys, thank you so much. The love is there. And anybody new that's come to the channel, I hope that I can serve you and help you understand couple of truths in this game that we call trading man this is the hardest easiest way to make money okay the hardest easiest way to make money all right and the sooner you come to understand that the sooner you take this more seriously and i'm not saying you're not taking it seriously but you have to understand that this game is about how long the market makers and the tools that they use to keep money committed in the game you know because the longer your money's committed in this game all right, in the markets, that's when you're useful. Till then, you're nothing to them. They don't give a shit. You're only good to the market maker when your money's on the line. So you wanna try and make it sure that you ride the game when the market maker's riding. Let the retail traders mess up, man. Let the FOMO guys, the moon boys, let them go into the trades. Let them be the money that we take from them. You know? Because remember, it's a zero sum game. Someone loses, someone wins. You know? No worries, King, man. No worries. Donatello, wicked. I hope I'm making people's lives better, man. I made you so much money last night. Saw five trades and got them last night from your stream. Boom. Boom. Wicked. 
That's what I want to see. Guys, pay it forward, man. If you know someone that could benefit from this, send them this way. Okay? Let them know, man, if you know someone. Because you're just watching people, man. People are just going to burn their monies. People adopting cryptocurrency right now. It's not even being adopted properly, man. Do you understand that? They have, they're they not even adopting cryptocurrency yet. Can you imagine when it does get adopted? Golden Q, what's good? Peter Storms, what's happening? The Moon Boys, you know? Anyways, listen. Much love to all of you, man. Oh my God, man. Yeah, made eight out of eight last night. What? The, guys, I'm talking about 75 to 90% success rate. Don't come to me with 100%, man. That's not fair, bro. <laughs> <laughs> all right and cool listen mad love to all of you guys you enjoy your weekends okay we're back on tomorrow night half past nine quarter to ten to summarize what has happened from this point on all right enough love to you guys see you in a bit